so unfortunately in 2007 um, we had to cancel because of the horrendous weather but in fairness it wouldn't have mattered where we'd been in the country that particular week it would have been cancelled so um, nothing to do with the area merely to do with the weather. So. Well it's in the beautiful uh, county of Yorkshire uh, they're very proud people they're really looking forward to it coming back. Yes we have had the most phenomenal support unbelievable support that we're coming back um, average distance for people to travel to the event is 100 miles and so where we have been for the last few years has been rather out of the, um, the scope of a number of people from this part of the world and certainly north of here so we are really been encouraged by the response we've been getting from um, the locals so we're really looking forward to it. it beautiful grounds once again and uh, the stately homes of the United Kingdom do get blessed with the game fair don't they? Yes, uh, sadly not all of them have can quite accommodate us. We're quite a big beast to have in your back garden, I'm afraid. But um, this is one that we have, I've done um, two game fairs here before and prepared a third, um, and it does work. It is a, a wonderful venue. Statistically speaking, um, it's like a thousand exhibitors. We've had a lot of feedback as to quality, and, um, and so we've reduced the numbers of exhibitors um, down to about 850. Um, but it still makes it about the fourth largest retail outlet in the country during that, th that weekend. So um, there's enough shopping here for everybody. And a lot of people too. Hopefully. Um, I think we had 143,500 when we were here in 2003. Um, and so certainly we would hope to, to better that this, this time around. The Game Fair, I think, has changed a lot since 2003. Yes, we, like everything, um, the, the core of the event will always be the same. The, the, the gun makers, the fishing, though the fishing is reinventing itself because the fishing industry needs to reinvent itself. Um, gun makers is still a traditional um, industry, so that um, remains much the same. But we have a new feature, the Best of British, a British village, which um, is featuring small sort of artisan um, crafts with... Um, the candle making, the embroidery, and small producers of, be it sausages, be it cheeses, whatever, and a, a lovely old-fashioned helter-skelter and an old-fashioned roundabout to, to appeal to the children. So. Well, we look forward to that, and uh, of course the kayak experience as well. A nice big lake here for that. Oh yes, um, and, and it is an excellent lake. Um, we'll most probably have to make it a little bit deeper than it is at the moment, but um, we have the ability to do that, and. Um, and again, the estate are helping us and um, the fishing people that we have got involved this year have been really enthusiastic. And certainly the kayaks, having seen them today, are a wonderful um, addition to the, the whole sort of fishing world. And I think for young children to look at, and certainly up here, which is where the, the picnic lawn is, it's a lovely view down onto the lake and I suspect will be quite popular. Also popular with the parents because children up to 16 are in for free. Um, we've started that last year and um, we had quite a lot of children and we'd like even more to come because they're the future of this event so we want them to, we, we want them here and for children and for parents it's an outdoor uh, opportunity to get involved with sports which are traditional British uh, been there for centuries a bit like archery um, air pistols you name it yes uh, it, it is it, it's a taster it's a showcase it, it's get involved, see what field shooting is with air guns, see what it's like on, on the shooting line, um, to get involved. To, the countryside employs a huge number of people. It generates a huge income. We need to advertise that to people so that they can understand. And, and it's, it's all about education and, uh, and uh, an understanding of what actually goes on. Certainly the gun dog events for first time viewers are absolutely unbelievable, these, the skill involved in that. So uh, that is what we are, a pure showcase. Well, we look forward to it. It's uh, the end of July and the first day of uh, August. Yes, 31st of July to the 2nd of August. Um, will be a glorious weekend, not too hot, perfect weather.